again and we're reading again from what's the book called? Let's get it the right way up. Oh. Is that it? Bob Hartman's Rhyming Bible. And today's story is called Harry and Trixie. So let's hear about Harry and Trixie. Rebecca and Isaac's twin baby boys were born a few minutes apart. They didn't have much in common, though. They were different right from the start. When Esau came out, that was his name, when Esau came out, he had red bushy hair and sweet baby Jacob had none. But he had his hand on his big brother's heel, a sign of the problems to come. Isaac loved Esau, his big hairy son, who brought him the best fresh meat. But Jacob stayed home and learned tricks from his mum and turned into quite a good cheat. So one day when Esau came home from a hunt, he found Jacob cooking a meal. I'm starving, he said. Give me some of that now, said Jacob. I'll do you a deal. Our father's inheritance passes to you, for you are his firstborn child. Trade me that birthright for this bowl of stew and then you can eat Jacob smiled so Esau agreed and that bad deed was done and Jacob did happy flips just one thing remained to seal the whole deal a blessing from Isaac's own lips that's Isaac the dad as Isaac grew older, his eyesight grew weak. Dear Esau, he said with a sigh, catch me some game, make my favourite meal. I'll bless you before I die. Do you know what that meal was? It was going to be a meat stew, a game stew. Rebecca, that's his wife, gave Isaac's instructions to Jacob. And here is my plan, she said. Fetch me two goats and we'll cook up that meal and you'll get the blessing instead. My arms are not hairy, father will guess. The trick will not work, Jacob cried. We'll cover your arms with the skin of a goat, Trixie Rebecca replied. So into old Isaac's tent Jacob went, goat on the plate and on his arms. Here's food for you, father, Jacob announced. But Isaac was slightly alarmed. The food's come so quickly, Esau, my boy. Your hunt was a great success. But strangely, your voice sounds just like your brother's. I'd swear it was him at a guess. Now, give me your hand so I can be sure. And the fake arm hair worked a treat. He thought it was Esau and spoke out a blessing, which Jacob quite gladly received. When Esau appeared with a meal some time later, Isaac felt bad for his son. I've already given your brother my blessing. There's nothing that can be done. So Esau then vowed to murder his brother. And Jacob ran far from the home. Blessed by his father, heir to his name, but forced, for a while, to roam. What an amazing story. 
and Jackie's going to tell us about it. Rebecca, the mum, and then there were the twin sons. Can you remember their names? Esau and Jacob. 
Now, when we think of twins, we often think of identical twins. These weren't identical twins. They were fraternal twins. They didn't look like each other. In fact, they were very different. This blanket reminds me of the story because one side is hairy, furry, and the other side smooth. Now, we know that Esau, it says in the Bible, was a hairy man, and Jacob had smooth skin. So, that's part of the story. That's quite an important part of the story. What happened? Now, Esau was the oldest son, and he was due to inherit the blessing from his father. That meant he would get all his father's goods, all his father's land. He would inherit all the servants, all the wealth. But one day, he came in, he'd been out, he liked hunting, he was a real outside person. He came back and he was really, really hungry. He was starving, he was famished, and he smelled what his brother was eating which was some lentil soup. And he thought, oh, that smells so good. That is delicious. I really want some. And he said to his brother, please, Jacob, give me some. Give me some of your soup. I'm so hungry. And his brother said to him, well, I will give you my soup if you pass on to me our father's blessing. And you know, Esau was so hungry. He said, yeah, just give me the soup. I'm so hungry. I just want it. I don't think he really thought very much about it. Now, some time later, when Esau was getting, uh, Isaac was getting older and older, he was getting frail, he was losing his sight, he couldn't hear as well as he used to, he called Esau to him and he said, Son, I want you to go out and I want you to collect all the ingredients for my favourite stew. And when you come back, I will pass on to you my blessing. So Esau went out. But why Isaac had been talking to Esau, Rebekah, his wife, had been listening in. And Jacob, the younger one, was her favourite son. And she was determined that the blessing should go to him. So she had a plan. And she called Jacob. She said, I want you to go out, Jacob, and kill two goats. Bring them back to me and I'm going to make a pot of your dad's favourite stew. You can take it into him and he will give you his blessing. And Jacob said, Mum, that's not going to work. I don't look like Esau. I don't smell like Esau. Dad's going to know. And she said, no. What we're going to do is when we've skinned the goats, we're going to put the skin on top of your skin. And I want you to find some of Esau's old clothes, and you can wear them. Then you're going to smell like your brother. And that's what happened. And so he went in with the pot of stew, covered it in the goat's fur, the goat's skin. And when his dad said, come closer to me, who is it? He pretended that he was Esau, and he said, let me feel you. And he felt the goat skin on him. So he was convinced that it was Esau. And he gave Jacob, the younger one, the blessing. Now after that, all sorts of different things happen. And you'll have to read a bit more of the Bible story another time. But that's what the story was about today. So this story made me think of the five senses. They really come out in the story. So I thought, maybe you could do a prayer about thanking God for our senses. So I drew an eye for sight and a nose for smell, an ear for hearing, a hand for touch and a mouth for taste. And then around them I put and drew, I wrote and I drew some of my favourite things. So I love seeing sunshine and big skies and children playing and for smell I like the smell of my favourite perfume and smelly candles. I like the smell of bacon cooking and um, for sounds. I love hearing people laugh. That always makes me laugh. And music. And for touch. This is my son's dog, Scout. And Scout is lovely to touch because she's just a bundle of fluff. She's so soft. And I love seeing my family. 
and giving hugs. So I thought you could do that today. You could do something about your five senses. And now I'm going to finish with a prayer and you can join in using your five senses. Lord, I'm thinking of my favourite thing to eat. And I thank you for my sense of taste. Lord, I'm thinking of something really soft that I like to, to touch. And I thank you for my sense of touch. Lord, I'm thinking of something really lovely to smell. Mm. And I thank you for my sense of smell. Lord, I'm thinking of a sound that makes me feel safe and happy. And I thank you for my sense of hearing. Lord, I'm thinking of people I love to see. And I thank you for my sense of sight. Thank you, Lord, for my wonderful body and my five senses that help me to enjoy the world around me. Amen.